Welcome everyone to the Yorkshire Dales, back up on the moors in search of some upland birds. I've just seen a red grouse on the other side of the road, so hopefully it's still there. Uh, I just need to turn around so I can get the car on the right side of the road. It's a really nice female grouse. She's actually stood on top of a rock, just absolutely perfect, nice and clear, but now she's gone down into the heather um, and she's gone back down. Oh, her head's just up. Her head's just poking above the heather. This is where the cameras can struggle a lot in terms of autofocus, depending on what you've got, um, because the plumage of the grouse blends in really quite well to the heather. Um, especially if it's overcast light as well, it can be really difficult for the camera to focus on the head and not the surrounding heather. I know this weather looks really grim, it just looks pretty horrible up here. We're kind of in low cloud and there's a bit of rain around as well and wind, it looks pretty nasty. But to be honest, those conditions can actually be quite good for photography. I've finally got a good position, a grouse in a good position and I can actually get alongside it and the background's pretty good. It's really difficult to show you what I'm doing at times because I'm having to stop in the road and watch the traffic and a million other things going on. It was, it was in a really good position because it was just raised up a bit higher uh, but it actually had a background so rather than just kind of the distant mist maybe there's a bit of the top of the hill this one was actually against the distant hillside, so it had like a clearer backdrop. So I managed to stop, um, not for too long, so it was kind of on a bend. And uh, really, really, really simple, fairly simple to focus, composition. I did a few where I turned it round as well, so I did some horizontals, but I also turned it round to do some vertical, some portrait shots as well. But yeah, just uh, nothing amazing, but just a nice, simple portrait. So I was saying that the weather was miserable, it's actually got worse. Um, it's just gone so dark, it's like proper mist descending onto the moors now. And that's making it hard to find birds as well because the visibility is worse, so it's harder for me to actually pick things out. in a male um, by the right hand side of the road he's kind of concealed he's in the grasses so it's very hard to get a clear view he's, he's finally come up just raised a little bit I've got a nice clear view of him but it's it's so murky and overcast everything's just like completely diffused you know he's so soft so the position he's in at the moment is not making for an amazing picture if he comes a bit closer in a slightly better position then I think those colours and that red above his eyes is going to stand out really well. I'm doing manual ISO because it's pretty consistent light because it's just miserable. Uh, so it's not like it's changing all the time. So I'm setting the ISO myself. I've got it on 400 at the moment. Widest aperture, which I don't often do. I'm trying to do it a bit more now. F4. And it's on aperture priority, so the shutter speed it's given me is about 400th of a second at the moment. That's, you know, that's more than enough for a stationary grouse. I've got it on the eye focus at the moment. It's actually doing fairly well. It's on servo, continuous autofocus. Uh, a couple of times it just looked like it was hunting a bit. So I've just switched to a one shot. I just think that may be better, especially in these conditions. That is really interesting. Um, 
the difference in these shots. Took a couple of shots slightly earlier, and then the mist kind of rolled in a bit. I didn't notice how much it had come in. And the difference in those shots with the colour, the ones with the mist just look so much more diffused. Um, you know, not as much contrast in there, but a real difference. <laughs> Right, there's actually a time when it can be too bad, I think, when the weather's too bad and the visibility is just awful. Wow. I, I can barely see anything. I uh, had to go outside. The, the weather's got a bit worse. Even worse. And uh, I'm a little bit wet. Oh, I'm so wet. Oh. Right, I've come down from up there. Um, yeah, just got lower down and it's much, much better. It's much drier. The reason it's so bad up there is just the elevation. You're just so high up. It's just, it's pretty awful. Um, it was getting a bit, it was getting a bit too hound of the Baskervilles up there. The conditions have just been so difficult to work in but if you want to learn more about how I set the camera up and how I have everything set up in the car for this kind of shoot then check out this video on the screen. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.